and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been, what, like a month since I filmed? I, because I posted a Valentine video and I was trying to film another video but that didn't end up working out. If, I might upload it at some point but, uh, that's if I can get the final results of it. But, um, um, if you hear me out, that's Mizuki. You know she likes to be on camera if you're, <laughs> Not new to my channel, you know that she likes to be here. Um, so, yes, today is a shoe collection video. I don't have a lot of shoes, but I have acquired some pairs uh, throughout the couple of years that I have been posting haul videos and getting into um, the goth um, community. So, we will start with some basics, of course, um, because, you know, you can't always walk around in uh, heels, <laughs> the heels and platforms. I don't know why I feel so nervous, like, it's been so long since I filmed. And then we got some cats hissing, let's see if they'll start fighting again, <laughs> that'll be fun. <laughs> so, the first pair that I will talk about, why do you want attention now? <laughs> Um, so, you know, just got a pair of Vans, and I will try the shoes on and show you what they look like on, but I am wearing fishnets, so it's not going to look quite right with the Vans or anything, like any normal shoe that I have. It probably won't go with my outfit at all, but I just have a pair of these black Vans. Um, they're just simple, you know, nothing too special. Moving on. Okay, so the reason why I have a pair of white Converse uh, is because I was doing um, Mikan Smizuki cosplay from the Nirumpo Goodbye Despair, and of course she wear his pair of white velvet shoes so I just wore these instead if you haven't seen uh, my cosplay on Instagram or anything I will throw a picture up in the corner but yeah I basically wore these for the cosplay you know they look like their shoes anyway so might as well put it work right um I'll tell you what these have gone through so much the first time during the photo shoot I fell. I fell straight into dirt. Dirt and mud. So these were pretty scuffed up and, and I did the photo shoot before Halloween. <laughs> so they've gone through a lot. I had bleached them three times since I've like worn them and stuff. So they're kind of yellowish, but you're not gonna believe where I got these. So I actually got these at Dollar General. And they were only ten dollars. <laughs> I was like, oh cool, I need white shoes. Here they are. But um yeah, I don't know what brand this is, but it's from Dollar General. Uh and the vans were from Shoe. I don't know if you have that store, but it it was around near next to our Walmart, so I just need some shoes to walk in. Um, most of my platforms, I will say, came from Dallas Kill. So, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. I have already bought and purchased these before all the current controversy about them came up. And I probably won't do any more Dallas Kill videos on my channel just so it doesn't cause problems in the comments or anything. So, yeah, this will probably be the last time that I'll show Devil's Kill items on my channel. Okay, so uh, let's continue with sneakers. Um, well, these are still old. Oops, not yeah, still old, but these are a little old. Um, I had these for a few years. They're actually really good. I mean, I wouldn't consider them a goth shoe, but like. 
This is a shoe collection haul, what does it matter? So, um, they actually have a little platform in them and they are see-through, which I didn't know that when I was ordering these because I had gotten them for school. So yeah, they're really old. And I was like, um, that's weird. So I'm just gonna have to wear black socks underneath and we'll make sure my socks are matching just in case like anyone is like looking at them because that's, uh, that's pretty clear. And they do kind of hurt a lot because they do have flat, flat heel on them. Because like looking at them, it doesn't look like they have a heel or anything. So there's a heel. There's a heel. You'll see when I, um, the try on. Oh, before I forget, they they obviously don't have your strings, so they just zip off the side. Of course, you can't just slip your feet in. Eh, why am I having so much trouble? Why do I always have trouble in one of my videos? Okay. So let's start moving on to boots and platforms. So, I know, these, brown, and they're not my style at all. So, once again, this was for another cosplay that I had done. It was Yang from Ruby, and I had also bought these from the shoe department, and they got little, like, holes on them because my cats like to make these up for some reason. Um, they have just a zip on the side, and it's just, they're really cozy, I will say that. And we, like, wore these cosplays, and it was so hot, even though I was in shorts. It was just so hot and warm with these on, and also with a long, heavy blonde wig. It was terrible. Oh, come on, another zipper problem. Help! Help, 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 help. As you can see, they just have this cute little detail. Not the same as hers, obviously, but pretty damn similar, so they worked. They worked pretty well for her cosplay. Um, next, uh, I guess I'll just do these, or should I stick with the boots? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I have these sandal wedges. Funny story about these. So I was going to the store, and I get out of my car, start walking, and the bottom of my mirror jeans just fell off, just fell apart, just out of nowhere. Here I am in the middle of the parking lot, and my shoe completely falls apart. And there's like no way to walk with it or anything, because you know it's just popping about and folding backwards. And I can't do this, especially when I'm wearing a heel. So I walk into the shoe store. I found these because it worked with my outfit. And they're pretty basic. You know, basic design. So open to the sandal because it worked because like I wasn't wearing socks or anything, so it worked. I mean people got to see my ugly feet, which I right here. They were actually pretty comfortable, honestly, walking in them. Pretty sturdy. Maybe I'm wearing them again, but I don't know. What what do I wear these with? Moving on. Um I don't know. Um I wore these ton. I wear them all the time. They're actually my go-to boots. My go-to platform boots. You know, before, um, my cat's playing with something in the corner. Now these are actually my situation with these. So I actually traded my sister, a pair of the boots that you saw in my counselor video that I was wearing. In short, they go to, they go to my calf. Um, I had traded her for these because I had originally bought these for my sister, but they didn't work out. So I gave her my um, shorter length ones 
and I have these. Now, I honestly didn't think I was gonna like love these too much, um, because how tight they are, but they're fine. They're comfortable. I love them. I walk them everywhere, so they actually work. Okay. So this is what I was thinking of before. Like I had boots similar to these. These ones I got on Killstar. Um. So, but like the boot was about the same. Right? Like this is usually my preference for boots. My hands are going to be worse right now. She's playing with a mirror. Um. But I thought these would be a cute fall look. Like to wear these during the fall. They got the pointy toe, which I don't usually go for the pointy toe either, but eh, they fit pretty comfortably. Um, there's like no, they don't have any fur or anything on the inside, but they still get pretty new. And this is the thread on the bottom. They feel like they have suede on the heels. Can you stop, please? <laughs> Making all the noise. She's literally climbing inside the shoebox. I opened it. But they just got simple zipper, so yeah, you don't actually need to do the buckling up, but you can if you want. And on the buckles, they have cute little skulls, which you'll see in the close up. And you don't actually need this tie either, but it's just a nice little... How crazy are you gonna be right now? <laughs> um, shoestring, you know? Shoestring decoration, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. But there's those. Um, if we are still moving on the platforms. Um, these are my newer platforms. They, my boyfriend actually got these for me for Christmas. Um, they came from Hot Topic. Uh, I haven't worn them yet, but they are afraid. That's how I came. Um, which is disappointing, but of course again, I never bought shoes from Hot Topic before anyways. I mean, besides I have a pair of Converse from them, but that's different. I never bought like platforms. They kind of have, it's almost like a foam wedge. Um, you see the glue too on them, but I can't say how comfortable these are yet. Like I said, I haven't worn them, but yeah, I'll try them out eventually. Just waiting for the snow to go away. They come with a bat wing attached to this sh shoe string, but you could probably take this off if you just want to wear it without. It was weird to me that um, they didn't have wings on both sides. And then I was looking at the other shoe, the other shoe was the other way. So, tweet the zone, I guess. If you don't want to have four wings on the back of your heel. <laughs> it's fun, you know. Just it down. Okay. So, another platform. I actually have two more platforms. Sorry, hiccup. Um, let's talk about these. So, these are newer, and I had worn these on Valentine's Day. They might be a little dirty because I haven't cleaned them. But, and these are totally a different shoe than I had. I don't want to say expected, but I have never worn this kind of shoe. It almost looks like a stripper type shoe. Because like, you know, these wrap all the way up and you got like little roses going down them. I don't know, when I saw them in the promotional video, I just really loved them. And I've always wanted them. And they have, um, like, they feel like Mary Jane's like feeling how it's like, I don't know. I don't know how it's, but like they're shiny. And um, they're really sturdy as well. Uh, 
So I really love the chunky heels because they're easier to walk in and they won't hurt right away. So they got a nice little cushioning um, uh, on the tops of them. Uh, there is no way to, I mean, the only way to tie it up is with the strings, but you slide your foot through here, which this is actually tighter than I thought. Um, so there's that. So I guess it, it really does keep you in. Um, my problem was trying to get it tight enough, the strings tight enough to stay on my legs. I had to keep adjusting them throughout the day because they would just come loose. I don't know if I'm tying them up wrong or what, but they just don't stay up that well. So I don't know how often I wear these, not to mention the bruises fall off. But what can I do about them? I mean, I got them on scale. I hope you are enjoying the noises of my cats. And now we got another one, searching the pearl shoes. You might want to go shoe shopping now. But, um, next platform. Oh, whatever box, you can look to be that way. I'm not going to fight with you. So, last platform that I have today. These, these ones. Now these ones might be a little bit different. Wear them a lot. Surprising. So, so this is my first pair of the pointy shoe. Um, as you can see, they have dark on them. I just didn't bother with my mom. I probably should have for this video, and I'm sorry. But they have middle sparkly bows on them going up the side. And I wouldn't say this is a spade, but I'm going to say Oh my god, will you quit it? What are you doing out there? What the hell is going on? Why does everybody act up when I'm trying to film a video? <gasps> but, oh my god. It is really hard to walk in these because they do, you know, there's a lot of pain when walking with these. It, it could be just the one toe, but you know it's a short heel. Like, I do feel my feet hurting. Not almost immediately, but like within an hour of wearing them. So they're not good to wear all day, but they're good for a little, little thing here and there. Which I almost thought about wearing on Valentine's Day, but I'm just gonna do it out. My last pair of shoes that I have now is a little bit star. As I drop the shoe. And oops, I should have cleaned these too. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I should have cleaned these. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself. I should have cleaned these. Um I'll claim them when you see them in the try, so you can see them better. But these are my Mary Janes. Well, they're cemetery Janes, and they're different than regular Mary Janes because they, uh, these go right up to um, it's right above the ankle, and they just strap around. Now, when I wear these, there is a little gap here in between the wings. Um, they might be a little bit big, but you know, they fit fine though on the bottom. So if I were to size them to like lower, I don't think they would have fit me. So I work with these the best that I can. And the reason why these ones are so dirty is my friend and I did a photo shoot and I wore these and the heels directly went into the ground. <laughs> these are my only heels that I have. It's just like almost a stiletto. So, uh, these actually don't hurt that bad when walking with them. They're actually pretty good. And I love that it's red and black and it has the wings on both sides. And the wings are just like really cushiony. 
like really nice. And I do love these a lot. I go with almost everything. And my cat's coughing now, so I'm sorry. Okay, so that is all the shoes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe in the future when I collect more shoes, I will show them again. Of course, I won't show the, the same shoes over again, but I just, I don't know what I'm saying. How do you do a YouTube video? I don't even know anymore, but if I, if I already said it, I'm sorry, but thank you for watching. Um, check out my other videos, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!